Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure that I have to tell you that Kurama just joined the French dimension. Let's go. Let's Kurama go. is the first player to join K Corp Carmin Corporation. KC Kurama, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. So some insight here. Oh, they're in game. I'll give you some insight afterwards, I guess. But yeah, this is one of his first games under the colors of Casey Karamas. Uh, mm -hmm. Casey, sorry. So let's see how it does. Well, let's see how it all unfolds right here. Karama working with a new power up. But Base Mage, of course, has been uh, on quite the journey here this week and had some very close matches. Of course, played one of my boys from Nebraska, Zen. That one kind of came down to the wire. But when it was all said and done, Base Mage was able to move on. Here we are, top 64. These two players right here, masters of their characters. There's the forward throw. Oh! Okay. No, leave him alone! There we go. Okay. So the juggle starts now again going for the double jump. Is he going to go for the up beat? That was kind of very... He, he pushed a bit over it for this one. That's right. I mean, and that was a very sticky situation. Is he... Is he going to land on the platform or is he going to land like underneath the platform? Such a weird spot to be in right there, but looks like base mate is just a little late on the punish. Can't say we're going to see that happen twice. Going for the jet. Oh uh, and uh, well, for now, he still has a bit of the edge here in this, th those interactions, but he needs to be wary because 80% is those kind of a range of percent where a good rest in the face can just seal the deal for Bass Mage. That's right. One misstep, one small in micro interaction, and it could be all she wrote right now. Nothing there. This is good. He knows that uh, these platform extensions come out from Karama in a very strong fashion, but doesn't seem to matter. We're taking it back onto solid ground. Up smash gets it done, and this is going to be a tough one right here for the float goat, man. You know, I feel like base mage, of course, does a lot of floating around the opponents, but, uh, you know, Mario, uh, Mario just. The Mario's not, you know, he has a lot of um, has a lot of anterior options, a lot of up airs, a lot of up tilts, you know, and of course the up smash most know he's gonna make you think twice before jumping over him. Yeah, exactly. And here again, the game is even between the two the two players, but you can see how both of them are looking to get the edge in this game. Good edge guard, contentative maybe by Vasmage. Nope, not at all. Letting Kerma get back on the terrain, going again for those down and ramping up damage and putting again Kerma in those range where a good combo into a rest can just. Gave him the stock. Mm -hmm. Of course, that rest is always looming in the back of every player's mind right here. Base, it's not a matter of can you stop, it's just a matter of when. You can't prolong it. And of course, yeah. Base Mage really looking for it here, doing a lot of empty hopping around. I mean, that's just the Jigglypuff meta. If you get too close, backer's going to come out. There's Pound. No follow up, though. Okay. Yeah, I Another Nair pushing they him into the corner. They respect each other so much. Oh. It's got oh. Oh. He went for it. He went for it. This time he pulled the trigger and managed to find an interesting kill that puts him in advantage. Oh, oh, and this is the rest we're talking about. He thought that he could actually get Kurama in there. But indeed, the spacing was a bit off and managing to avoid it, get again Kurama the edge in that match. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, uh, uh, just those options that you just have to pay so much attention to, man. I feel like Kurama, of course, is playing with a six Sense here. Okay, no air dodge right there from base mage. I wasn't born yesterday. Very smart. Hey, I mean, I, I mean, we're seeing so many backers. I can't tell which one's actually Jigglypuff and which one's Mario. Man, it just feels like you know Karama yeah. again. A lot of backers just again anti-airing. You know, base mage keeping him out of his airspace. Yeah, this is the same picture, I guess, when you want to think about it. Yeah. But good, maybe not attentive by base mage to go for net gun. But the situation got only re got reversed. What has happened? Base mage is supposed to be one of those people you can't get off the ledge against. And there, Karama just got. I think this is the sponsor bot. This is the sponsor bot. I don't yeah. see anything. I think the meter's all the way up right now. I mean, come on. Did you see the way he managed to get back on the terrain without any issues? Yeah, did yeah. Did you see the way he caught a dash attack yeah. by Bass Mage in the middle of the stage? Can we talk about it? It can. Let's talk about it, man. I just feel like it's such a hard task right here for Jigglypuff. A lot of what makes her greatest her ability to cross you up. And then, of course, how big, you know, Nair and back and forward his hitboxes are. And, of course, her ability just, again, just to get around you in, in a way that a lot of players aren't really comfortable with. She spends a lot of time in the air and off stage. But I feel like, again, Mario toolkit kind of has the options for that at low percent those strings work and then at high percents these same strings now are kill options so something that base may certainly have to keep in the back of his head yes indeed now again this is a bo5 and we know how both players can adapt to the opponents we've seen already the abilities of kurama and the abilities of bass mage in so many other tournaments so let's see how bass mage can get his uh game a bit top uh, top its game a bit let's that's see right. how he can do it that's right he's gonna have to match karama's levels right now because karama has of course the sponsorship power up base mage though doesn't seem to carry any of that a lot of pound on that shield looking to bust it up and again karama plays really well out of shield too i think that's one thing that's kind of sets his mario apart from some of the other ones is that he does 
doesn't mind letting you hit him first. The fact of the matter remains the same. You can't chill forever versus any character, especially nope. not Jigglypuff. Indeed, and this is also where the pound is going to make maybe a difference if Kuma goes for those oh, defensive options again and again. But you can see that mm -hmm. there's no platform yet, and this is where he kind of changed his game plan. He doesn't want to approach that much using only safe options to such a back is. And now that platform are back in Ooh. there, he's going to aggressive, like because he knows that he can actually just even this, like, uh, chill down the game if he wants with those platform on the ledge. That's right, yeah. You kind of get that sense of security at times, but, you know, also that same sense of security could be a false sense of security, too, because when you think that, you know, these platforms can help you, there's characters like Jigglypuff or really cares I just float around that Kind of take the platforms away from you in a big way. Karama right now trying to do the exact same thing. Off the mark with the downer, and there's exactly what I was talking about. You think you can land, but there just lasts so long, yeah. bro. It's going to eat up that air dodge. Ooh, that was a tough connection there, because oh. the down there, if the last hit connected, I think that Balan was just going to pop. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. The yeah, Jilly is going to get sent sky high in a second. Any second now. Okay, and base mate's rocking the not over tag. He said it ain't over just yet, my friends. There's dash attack. The sour spot though that makes him able to get back on that field without any issues, using again the platform to get some pressure. Oh. Maybe a back to get the stage control. Perfect. He's not going to get the kill yet because he went in the middle of TNC. But again, look at the damage. Next one is going to be enough. Yep. That's throw maybe back that should throw. Be yeah, back, back throw. throw. Still not quite yeah. enough right there, even towards center stage. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> oh, Karama bringing the drama. Wait a minute. Kurama. That ain't how that's supposed to go. Kurama. Mount, I guess, in that interaction here, 160% just means that, oh my god, Bassman Bas Bas is just a full rage. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not a good spot to uh -oh. be in if you're the opponent. Oh, great uh, spot. Dodge right. close. He should be deceased. Okay, Finally. good lord. Uh. Like, how heavy is Jiggly Puff? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to look him to smash that up there. I was like, hey, wait, wait. Maybe, a maybe there was a, he a, it up. a shadow <laughs> update that we didn't know about, right? <laughs> wait, what? Does he have a zero to death now with Jiggly Puff? <laughs> Okay, there's another downer. Yeah, Karama said, I am out of here right now. It feels like base mate is playing with a little bit more confidence here and approaching Karama. Oh, Nair, nothing off the back here, but wait, you can't hang out on that left forever. You will get back here there. Yeah, again, resetting up for more up air, more juggle here. Karama is just a shadow of base mate on the terrain. He's just waiting for him. He's shocking him. But now, getting out of there with a good up throw, is it going to be enough for Batman to get the edge in that game? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure either, but we're going to have to see how it unfolds. I think both sides at the moment showing each other a lot of respect and understanding the importance of not allowing one side to get one hit. Both of these two characters, both of these two players, they just know how to get the most out of their money. Another dash attack. That's going to start getting real dangerous in a second. That is a KO option. Oh my god, whoa! Both of them going for a good option that could yeah. actually kill, because 3 steam pound kill already before in that tournament. So if Karama was just slightly above, he would have get shot by this, and I think he could have died. On the other hand, yo, good catch again, because he knows how Karama Basmage loves to hang around up there. Mm -hmm. that this was the perfect set of a platform for him to get up to him and punish him for this. I mean, he's Super Mario, he's known for jumping, yeah. and with them platforms, <laughs> he has a little bit more of an advantage to come and get you. Which unfortunately, you know, kind of raises the question: How does base maze, you know, switch up the approach when it comes to landing? Do I, you know, try to keep it more grounded, or do I stay more airborne? Where you know, Karama's kind of had his way with my Jigglypuff. Wait a minute! Boom! Oh, again, we talked about the pound earlier. I told you he managed to find a few kills with that, and that's also a good kill option right there, right now. Only 20%. Uh, ahead for Kurama. This is not done for him. He needs to be very because we've seen already how Batman loves to do those combos and how he can finish them with a rest. For now, the only one we've seen was a, a whiff. Let's see how he can even a bit the odds here. Okay. Okay. It's very smart right there. Kurama, every time he sees a downer, he's just out Whoa! of harm's way. Gets the forwarder. 82% ain't nothing to smile at. Especially when you're Jigglypuff. You're so light. One solid up smash or F smash done properly. This could definitely be enough here. Yeah. Prama very well aware, but using his fireballs a bit yeah. more now. Because Kuruma just realized, wait, I do have projectiles. You don't have anything. That's right, and that stops Jigglypuff from moving around <laughs> in the type of way. She has to respect it. Up smash is going to work. Did you see that sidestep? Yeah. Did you see the way it was so slick? It was so beautiful. His, My goodness. His, just kiss right there, that, right that there. That was good. My goodness. The way it was executed, um, I, have, I have tears in my eyes. Oh, damn. <laughs> Wait, I think it's... I, 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 there are people are going to be say I'm biased now. Nah, I don't think so. Are they, I'm for sure they are going to say I'm hey, biased. Hey, man, you didn't fall all the way over here not to root for your people, man. So you, you do what you got to do, all right? Yeah, no worries. I mean, uh, honestly, people, Corona is now French. Deal with it. Yeah. That's right. He's honorary French now, man. He got the jersey on. Yeah. This is what happens here. Now, Base Mage, of course, I don't want anybody to get it twisted, man. Base Mage, of course, one of the best players in the absolute world and best jigs. So 
I think he should be able to get a game. I mean, he ain't oh, got no yes, choice at this point but to get a game on the board. But I think this will be the game where he's really going to dig deep and figure some things out. I think what really kind of hurt him in that last game is that the side to float around maybe a little too much while the platforms were present. And because of that, uh, Karama has the ability to now get up there even further and go for up airs and up specials, you know, if he so chooses. But... Not seeing too much of that right here, of course. Base mate's drawing blood first. Yeah, and you know how Dasmate can just do things here and there because he saw how Kuma was spacing his backers and not approaching like any you know, out of shield option for Dasmate. This is exactly what you just tried there with those backers, like drifting in and out with them. But it didn't suffice at all. Kurama again taking the edge and just adding so much pressure. Evan fancying there. I mean, that was so stunning. That was so stunning. Oh, that was flashy. That was flashy. <laughs> that was flashy, but I want to see the fire too, though. And I think Kurama right now with the a slight lead is certainly bringing oh great directional air dodge down that wave land was clean base mage though off of them feet again no platforms that's right no aid right there for Grom to get up there but no platforms needed for that up smash i just saw fox for a second yeah there. was that fox that before? Was what was that no who just that? saw Oh, beautifully done by Kurama here, taking the edge again. Basmesh have a lot of work to do because only 60% on the first stock of, ba of Kurama. I know rest can do the job, but do you want to take the risk? Yeah, I think what's going on here is that Base Mage is just spending a lot of time fighting Kurama and just, I mean, I know he's trying absolutely his hardest to get the stock taken, but I think at this point the ground game ain't really working for you. Let's see how the offstage game goes. Of course, Kurama knows how important it is to get back using Fireball to give himself some coverage and Flood to push, uh, you know, uh, push base maze away, but I mean, you got to get out there and, and toss that nair out, buddy. He just revealed the whole situation. Uh -oh. No, no, this one you're going to finish, right? Yeah, he's not even dying. Uh, okay, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. Oh, wait, oh he no! Jump! Yeah. Oh, dude, oh okay. my god. I, I love the effort. I love the way he kept his jump for this edge guard there. Yeah. That wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah, it was no, enough. yeah. You're facing Jibby Goff, man. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a point where you have to respect it. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you chose the Jig's life, so you know. Sometimes your options just don't KO the way that they're supposed to. Drift back, pound, clean, nothing off the bait though. 98% here. This is, you know, far from good right here for base mates. But the guys, and guys, I like that. Not going for the immediate fall up afterwards. I think what was kind of hurting him in those early interactions, he was going for, you know, down there and then the immediate nair forward afterwards just wasn't getting anything. Yeah. There it is. This is how it oh. begins. Oh, good off match to just cancel everything, trying to get a quick, quick kill in the middle of a combo. I love how slick Karama is there. But good catch, good going for the afro again. Bass match can actually use that rage now to just. Oh, no! Getting go by down there. He needs to be wary of these options because. We've seen how he loves to hang around again, getting caught by this. He needs to land a bit more quickly. He said, no loitering up here, Ray. You can't hang around, all right, buddy? I like that, too. And he knows that he was going to try to float back and forth to mix Karama up. Karama just tossing out the Mario Tornado, the down air right there. This is an option that lasts a while. He said, one of these swings are going to catch you. And when it does, you should be out of the stock right there. There's the forward throw, forward air. Platform's not your friend. You better get up off of there. Okay, again, trying to... Oh no, I don't like the way this is going. Oh, oh no, Jekyll again, went down there. No, good DI. But yes, again, but look no. at the percent. He needs to find his ground in there. Karama is getting dangerous right now. Yes, percent starting to climb up. And okay, hi, Mario Tornetti. So you won't be floating back around for free here anymore. Oh, and again. Oh, I, again. This is just a message he's sending. I know you're going for those high recovery. Mm -hmm. Stop this. Go for lower ones. And oh. now, finally, I think this was the first thing of the set. Yeah. Using a sing at the ledge, that's a, a Captain L thing. I remember used to do that a lot back in Smash 4, you know, he'll sing at the ledge and come back on and rest you, but no matter how you spin it, it was a great coverage option, but as great as it is, it ain't greater than up Smash. Karama with the 3-0 with the fresh jersey, repping for his new team. Again, the reverse up Smash mm -hmm. of Karama was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he know exactly when to pull the trigger. When you think about it, out of three games, he just whiffed one of them, if I'm correct. Yeah. All of the others just hit the target every time. Mm -hmm. And Basmage didn't get enough room to breathe in there. Yeah. We've seen how he wanted to chill the game down a bit mm -hmm. by hanging out out there. Mm -hmm. But every time, That's right. well, <laughs> Kurama just went up there and killed him. He did him. Yeah, I mean, again, you can't hang around up there for free, especially on stages where there's you know, great platforms. Uh, you know, he has the ability to get up there and to, you know, catch him. And I, I think what we've seen more than anything is like just Karama showing that he is a 